Hey, what's up, guys? BM Games here, and welcome back to another video, and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption. Uh, sorry I didn't upload yesterday. I just wanted to take a little break, you know, about, you know, because I've been uploading for a minute. Not a lot, but you know, still, gotta have breaks every once in a while. So I think uh, today we're gonna go help Bonnie ride over to uh, McFarland Ranch. You the chicken headed guy, come over here. Oh, bet. Let's go. Now we get the duel. Let's go start the duel. We gotta do this to get that outfit anyway. So, sit. Tobias Weldon. Okay, so. Is it like Red Dead 2's? I'm your gun alternatively. Pull back on them. What? What am I doing? Oh dang, I done shot him, bro. He did. Alright, but American appetites. Stranger task. Uh, we'll worry about that after we do this Bonnie McFarland mission. Jeez. They did not like me dueling that guy. Uh, actually, you know what? Since it's a ways away, I'm going to skip to where we uh, get to McFarland Ranch. Here at McFarland Ranch now. We doing some more horse stuff, I guess. A tempest looms. Come on, come on, let's go. Amos. Get him in there. Come on, come on. Amos. Hey, miss. I got most of the horses secure and the chickens. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know they're scattered all over the valley and beyond. Well, we're gonna go herd the cows again. No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. Come on, Mr. Marston. I hate these missions. I really do. I don't like trying to control the herds and stuff. Are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a calling. But nobody made my path but me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books, others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. Past is who we are, Miss McFarland. There ain't no changing that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. We're not going to be able to hear each other in this rain. Just make sure you don't lose sight of me. Hmm. Take them over to the other herd. We'll try to drive them all back to the ranch together. Get these other ones. They all move. I'm trying to get your other cows. Chill out. All right, back to the herd, home dog. Get this other one. I hate the stragglers. I really do. Now let's control the herd. 
sweep back and forth. Dude, quit running away. Stupid Holstein cow, bro. That's why I hate these missions, because you always gotta, like, make sure they're going the right direction. They always want to move a different place. It's annoying for a video game, but in real life, it's pretty realistic, I'd say. Alright. Don't tell me I have to her herd all those cattle. Right now they're gonna run. Do not jump off the cliff, please. They're about to jump off the cliff. They're about to jump off that cliff. One of them just did. <sighs> it is what it is. Sometimes you lose a few. You, dude. Move there, back towards this way. There you go. Me too. Not wait to be done with them. I really, really hope they are not a permanent thing. Dude, quit moving. Stay with the herd. I will trample you. I do not care. bed. I did not realize my mic was unplugged the entire time. <sighs> well, not the entire time, but for a brief moment. So I was rambling and not even saying anything. <laughs> Get in the fence, you stupid cows. I swear, I, I do not like these missions. I hate them. Come on. There you go. You saved the herd back there. You might make a decent rancher one day. 
Thank you, Miss McFarland. <laughs> Alright. Well, uh, I looked it up. American Appetites is the stranger mission over down by here, I'm pretty sure. If it's not, we'll just do a stranger mission to do a stranger mission and say screw it, you know? But, um, I'm gonna, well actually, you know what? That's up to you all. Just let me, let me know in the comments if you wanna have me include the rides. I'm just gonna keep this one in. Uh, we're gonna go do these uh, stranger quests. Huh? Who said that? Where? There's a lot of random events in this game. I did not expect this many. Unlike, oh, unlike Red, Red Dead 2. I thought, like, because this is an older game, I wouldn't have thought there had been a lot of stranger missions. Stranger mission over here, there, but we'll worry about that later. Either later on in another episode, or yeah, later on in another episode. Because we are focusing on these ones, stranger missions. The thing about the horses in this game, they're faster than the ones in Red Dead 2, but, like, they can't keep their stamina as fa uh, as long. There's another Kentucky Saddler, just like my horse. I have a Kentucky Saddler in Red Dead Online. I think I told you all about him. That was black and white. His name is Buck. He is the goat. Excuse me. Why are her eyes so big? Man. Uh, was that it? Oh, uh, Stranger's Task. So I gotta complete the whole thing. What's this? Yeah, that's American Appetite. All right. Well, let's go up here. And go find this missing kid. Don't know. How you'd let your kill? Well, actually, it's the Wild West. Well, not really. It's like 1911 or something, right? Not really. Oh, we are technically in the Wild West still. Because New Austin's still kind of untamed. And you're a girl. Not saying women aren't strong, but, you know, a group of bandits aim a gun in your face and say they're going to take your son. Are you going to stop them? I would. But. Uh, where are we going? Oh, we gotta go up here. How do we get up there? Okay, we're gonna have to go off the trail. Hit the deer. Come on. Okay. Oh no. I bet that dude is dead. That boy is dead. That was it? 
Was that seriously it? No, it's not. Though you've completed part of this encounter, the story's not over. Check back at the sheriff's office in the future. Okay, well, in that case, we're going to help this other dude. What's his name? Nigel West Dickens. Let's go help Nigel West Dickens. It's a very weird name, but... <sighs> a lot of names back in the day were weird. Oh, we also have a bounty we can do, and we can take him alive this time. Oh, uh, after we help Nigel West Dickens, we'll do that. <laughs> Dude, I hate the stamina on these horses. That's probably something I'm gonna, gonna complain about the whole series, I bet. If you don't, like, get a stamina upgrade or something. I have any money. I only have 72 bucks. I can't really spend it on nothing good at the gun. Oh, the gunsmith. That's what I was going to do. Just go over to the gunsmith and buy me a new weapon or something. Thunderstorm. I want to update on the Fallout 4 series. Um... They just released a PS5 version for Fallout 4 today. Where you at? Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's do this random encounter. Because why not? them. Oh, let's shoot that rope. That way he doesn't die. Dang. Why are you shooting me? What did I do? Douche. I literally just saved your brother. Screw you. I'm not going to kill him, but I'm just ride out of here. Stupid NPC. <sighs> I got the feeling there is a lot to do in this game. This game offers you a lot to do. Even though the map's not as big as Red Dead. Um... Red Dead 2's. And I think it's got more content. Because this one actually has an, a DLC unlike Red Dead 2. I wish Red Dead 2 got a DLC. That would have been so awesome. Like if they did one about like the Blackwater Hush or something. Or Undead Nightmare 2. Riley's Charge. It's a weird name for a area. Probably named after like a creator or something. I don't know. Like a person that helped make this game, like a fan. Cause I know they do that a lot. They name locations after fans of games, or make characters uh, based off of people who are fans of games. Like Eric the Slayer from like Skyrim. He's based off like a dude who liked the Elder Scrolls and he had cancer he died but they honored him by making that Excuse character me. Excuse me sir, you need help? Did he die? Is he dead? Mister, you alive? Fuck, fuck, god damn it Good heavens <laughs> Excuse me? I said, no I'm not okay Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. 
Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. Oh. <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. Oh. <laughs> the heck happened to him? Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. I don't Just see any blood. Could be internal bleeding, though. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. Mm. Mm. I'm finished. Oh, this is the tonic salesman. That's right. That's who we're helping. Okay. Very odd dude. The closest doctor is in Armadillo. All right. Well, that'll go hand in hand for us doing the bounty because the bounty's in Armadillo. Excuse How me. many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, friend. The Baller Twins, Walton's gang. I know who you are. They're back. Oh. I've done for them. I'm keeping my gun out. I can see that. Once again, How far are we away from Armadillo? Okay, not that far. Success. They seem a man in a well cut suit if this happens. Do you know who they were? No idea. I'm not the kind of man who has enemies. You do now. I give so much and still they take. We live in an uncivilized and graceless world, friend. Our maker is a funny sense of humor sometimes. Still, at least I met you. A good Samaritan in wolf's clothes. And forgive me. Pain is playing rare oh. with my metaphors. It... Oh, oh. More? How many enemies did you make, bro? I'm sticking to the road. Chill out. They're not the one driving and getting shot at. They got guys in town. It's not gonna stop anything. You're not safe when we get up in here. Yeah, I embrace you. For Christ's sake, man, you're gonna be fine. Thank We're nearly you. there. Oh. We're here. Stay with me. Oh. oh, where the devil are we? Armadillo. We made it safe. You'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. No, you, I'm I not. That means much, but I no, I technically you, I am. And I always pay my debts. <sighs> Jesus, no, but bro. But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for, for. Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. No, oh. again. Where's my mic will quit unplugging uh, on accident? Alright. Fame plus 75. Okay, we help him tomorrow at 10 or 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. We'll go do another mission for the marshal, but I don't want to do any big missions anymore. Uh matter of fact, let's go spend some more money at the gun store. Can I get a new repeater? Oh, what's up, homie? How much is a new Winchester repeater? Three fifty. Uh, okay. Well, we'll come back. Where's that bounty at? Let me whistle for my horse. Where's my horse at? There you are. What's up, dog? Any more bounty mission? Because there was a bounty here. I don't want to do five finger full of it. Um, there's supposed to be a bounty poster right here. 
there's not. Um, well, I'll wait till there's one here. That way we can do something. All right. As soon as I ended that, uh, just popped up. Literally, I'm not even joking. Uh, Bollard Twins, Charlie Mesh. Property destruction at Mercer Station, $40 to live. Not as much as our other bounty we did a few episodes ago, but it's still money, so I will take it. Because I need money. Bounty target was last seen down at Mercer Station. Not that far. <coughs> and we actually don't have to kill him this time because we actually have a lasso. I thought I could have just shot him in the leg and incapacitated him like we did with the marshal, but uh, that didn't work. Now I had to kill him. I would have got $80 for him if I would have brought him in alive. I got 40 for bringing him in dead. But we're bringing this one in alive, so... $150 after that. What is that gunfire? Where is it coming from? Let's go. Okay, I see him. Get my repeater out. Get the repeater out. got lucky. We're not letting this one run away. I'm actually going to loot your buddies real quick, dog. Give me a moment. Oh, dang, I need pistol ammo. Because I forget this is a pistol, not a revolver. Even though it looks like a revolver. Um, what's that do that? Oh, and there's a chest over here, sick. I'll fully loot this camp then. Actually, no, one of those guys is coming. I'm not gonna do that yet. It literally looks just like him. It's like a carbon copy quantum. <laughs> there a chest in here. It's like this old brick shack. There's not. Alright, buddy. Let's take you to the gallows. <laughs> Get you killed. Alright, horse. Come here. There's another one. But, you know, I have your friend in my hands. I can just kill him. I don't care. I mean, I do, but at the same time, I really don't. I don't care, bro. You gave me some free money, basically. All I had to do was shoot a couple guys. And I got money. So, basically, free money. All I had to do was pick up a piece of paper. And, yeah. I want to get that Winchester repeater, though. Because that looks good. It probably is. Especially matched with a double barrel. It's going to look, it's going to be good. Put that last all away. More guys, are you joking? Honey, no, I don't.
on that no-good piece of dirt. Thank you. You're gonna die today. Oh, I thought he was talking to me. I'm just like, what did I do? How much money we got now? Oh, I actually have a little bit more than I thought, but then again, I did loot some more bodies. <sighs> Where is America? Is that American Appetites thing back up here? No, it is not. All right, well, in that case, Bollard Twin outfit updated. Defend residents of Hennigan instead from the Bollard Twins gang. Claim a Bollard Twins gang bounty alive. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to go up in to the saloon and in the episode. That dude looks drunk AF. Actually, real quick, I need to run over to the gun store and get some pistol ammo. I know we're going to blow some money, but I don't need to drop all my money. Excuse my mom. Please do. Uh, quantity. There we go. Actually, it wasn't too bad. I still have 100 bucks left. Alright, now let's go wrap up this video. Let's go upstairs. Wait, is there a poker room in here? How have I not noticed that? Oh, it's Herbert Moon. Yeah, I do mind. Alright, that looks like Dutch, but with a top hat and gray hair. Alright, let's go up here. And, uh, yeah. All right, if you did enjoy this uh, episode, be sure to leave a like. Uh, if you are new, put on uh, post notifications and subscribe. And I will see you all possibly tomorrow. Probably. Um, and with a new episode of Red Dead Redemption. Uh, peace, guys.